Hey guys, 21st Century Mose here, and bring us the video today. In today's video, I'm talking guys about something that actually changed my life. And first of all, I got this kind of idea, inspiration from Faze Tico. He made a video a couple days ago. I just saw it this morning. And it kind of just changed my perception on a little bit of things. Because he said he had a dream that he was going to uh, be in the face house and stuff like that. It's like a 15 minute long video. It's kind of inspirational. So there's going to be a link to that video in the description of this video. But what I actually want to talk to you guys about today is a song is from J. Cole. It's on his new album, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. I highly recommend you guys go over there. Check out his album. I, I really like J. Cole a lot. I like the message he shows. I like how real he is. And just a side note, whenever he actually, like before his album came out, he would actually go to people's houses and then he'd play his album for them. Nobody else does that. I just, you don't see Lil Wayne, Drizzy Drake, anybody doing that kind of stuff right now. It's just, he's on another level. So the, the song that I'm actually talking to you guys about, it's called Love Yours. It's the 12th song of his album, pretty much the last song. That's how he kind of want to end it. And uh, the actual premise of the song is called Love Yours, how you can never be happy until you really love whatever you have. Like, there'll always be somebody out there with, like, um, fresher clothes, a better car, a hotter girl, whatever it is. But you're not going to truly be happy with yourself until you learn to love yours. And that kind of relates a little bit to what I have in my life. And it just relates a lot to, like, YouTube and all kinds of stuff like that. And I'd be lying if I say I'm not jealous of somebody like Nade Shot or Maj or just anybody that has a really big fan base or a lot of like a million subscribers and stuff on YouTube I just look at them and I'm like oh my gosh look at the things they're doing look at all the love and support that they're getting all kinds of stuff like that and it's just it, it really makes me just wonder like what can I do to get this you know it's just something that I really desperately want you know I'm just gonna be honest I, I, I just really want to have that kind of stuff and I feel I guess I just feel like envy or is it jealousy or something like that where you know I want that to be me you know I I look at all the nice things that they got and everything, and I'm just like, why can't that be me, you know? What do we gotta do? And I'd actually talk about the lyrics of the song a little bit. Uh, first of all, he's talking about how there's beauty in the struggle, like whenever you're going through the struggle, um, it's gonna make you a little bit humbler, and also how there's beauty in the struggle, it's gonna make you appreciate things in life a little bit more. You're gonna have a different perspective on things, and that just really stuck out to me as well. And then he talks about how growing up, sometimes he had less, compared to people down the road, he was blessed, and I just look around like, yeah, I kinda have some things, but they're not really the best things because people out there have a lot better things than I do but then I can look at like somebody a lot less fortunate than me or somebody in Africa or just a different part of the world wherever it may be and compared to them I'm so lucky I'm beyond grateful every to have everything that I really do have and it just kind of humbles myself and then he's talking about life can't be no fairy tale no once upon a time but goddamn if a nigga don't be trying so I apologize for my language right there but he's just talking about how every like life's never gonna be like a fairy tale. It's not gonna be no Cinderella book. And there's always gonna be bad things in life. But you're gonna have to try. You have to be grinding to put a smile on your face. You're gonna have to try to make everything perfect. So if you don't try, you're never gonna actually succeed. And then there's a line where he's talking about how demons always inviting more. And that, that what it actually means is whenever you have negativity, it breeds more negativity. And that's just something that's really familiar with me, like I'll have a bad thought, and then that bad thought will be more thoughts. Maybe it's just my anxiety, the way my mind's wired. But whenever it acts whatever it happens I'm just like it keeps going down like a downward spiral and stuff like that and it just really uh, gets to me and then he talks about uh, cashing minimal checks turn on the TV see a Rolex and fantasize about living a life with no stress and it's just talking about the people that are at the bottom they're always looking up the people that are on TV whether it be YouTube whatever and they're, they're wanting what they got and they're fantasizing like why can't I do this like people are doing Kind of stuff and that really relates to me. Like oh, I'll do, go, I'll get on YouTube. You know, I'll go to my subscriptions, and then I'll see Nate. He just bought a new car or something like that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, why can't that be me? And they're like, I, like it looks like they're living the stress-free life, even though they actually do have a lot of stress in their life. Or you'll see like all kinds of people living in the face house. Or Pamaj just talking about how he was an optic and stuff like that. And it's just you're looking at all these people, and it's just like, dang, like they're so good. And it's, it really breeds kind of jealousy and envy, especially towards me. And then he talks about somebody that was in your shoes, that was in your shoes. So he knows what it's like to go through the show. He knows what it's like to fantasize about this stuff. He knows what it's like to deal with the uh, struggles and situations that everybody else is. Because he's one of us. He's came from the bottom. He's made his way up. And then at the very end of the song, he goes, Always going to be a bigger house somewhere, but a nigga feel me. As long as the people in the motherfucker love you dearly, always going to be whipped that's better than the one you got. Always going to be some clothes fresher than the ones you got. Always going to be a bitch better than... Or always going to be a bitch that's better out there on tours, but you ain't going to be happy till you love yours. So what he's talking about is, every time you see something... 
there's always gonna be something better. Everybody's like, there's always somebody better. There's always something better out there. They're, you know, they're always making a new car. Somebody's always building a new house. Somebody's always doing this. There's always gonna be a girl out there that looks a lot better than the one you got. But you're never truly gonna be happy until you learn to love what you have. You're never gonna be truly happy to learn to love the car you drive, the woman you have, the, the house that you live in. You just gotta take things and appreciate all the values that they have and the ones that you got. And to relate that for you two, you know, I'm just thinking like, you know, I'm just out here struggling to get 600 subscribers. But you know, I just gotta appreciate what I have. Like, you know, I gotta really love and appreciate everything that I do have. So this video is pretty much coming to wraps. I just wanted to share you with this with you guys. I really, really recommend you guys go out and check out this song. It's changed my life. Whenever I first listened to it, I'm just like, damn, you know, like uh, I was just kind of vibing to it, playing some Call of Duty, and I just had to stop playing Call of Duty and actually listen to the lyrics. And it's just, it's, it's the song's keeping growing on me, growing on me, and actually just make make me look at the world with a uh, different perspective. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video. Um, like the video, comment the comment section below you guys like about today's video. I might be streaming later today, so uh, link to my Twitch is in the description below, as well as my Snapchat, as my Twitter, you, you guys can stay updated with me there. But I, if you guys got anything out of the video today, just learn to love yours. You're never truly going to be happy until you learn to accept what you have and take it and appreciate everything that you have in this world. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Go out there, have a great day, and be happy.